Today we're going to check out one of the programs from the Move Pro app. It's in the section of the 15 minute workouts and I'm going to do it today with you. So if you want to follow along, go for it. I want to show you how the app works. Before we get started, you click on the workout that you're going to be doing for the day and just make sure that you've got all the equipment. So this one, it lists all the equipment that we need. We're going to need a box for our Jefferson curls. We're going to need a kettlebell. We're going to need a small weight and a dowel and some open floor space. So pretty minimal in terms of the equipment. So let's get into it. We can have a look at, and I'll show you a little screen recording of this as well. So we check out the workout first. We've got our warm up. We've got one set of our spinal waves. We've got standing arch. We've got Jefferson curls, one round of all of these things. And then we move on to the workout. So the workout focusing on the spine is three sets of eight reps of bridge push-ups, And we've got our progressions here that we can change. So I'll just show you that as well. You click on the progressions, little tab on the right, and you can choose from easiest all the way through to the hardest progression. You select that and you lock that in for the workout. We've also got good mornings for eight reps, so working on our hip hinge. And then we've got quadrupedal crawling, so finding that neutral spine position, working the shoulders and core as well. So let's get into it, make sure you're all set up. Pause the video if you wanna get set up and do it with me. So it's gonna take 15 minutes. We've got a bunch of these on the app. Let's get into it. So once you're set up, we're gonna get stuck straight into it. All we do is press start workout and we're starting with our spinal wave. We've got one minute timer and we just click that. Three, two, one, let's go for it. So I'll talk you through it. There's a video on here and also form cues as well. So Jenny's in this video doing some beautiful spinal waves. We're gonna lead with the nose, chin, chest and peel all the way down to our hips and our knees. So facing forward, I keep turning towards the camera, but you will just face forward like this. I'll just do it on this angle so you can see as well. And we're just rolling and creating this wave from the top of the head all the way through down to the knees, down through the spine. We've got 33 seconds left, so let's keep going. Leading with the head, I'll show you from a few different angles as well. Roll through the spine. Once you get it and it's Kind of like this, little limited range. Over time, you can start to increase that range as well once your body allows that greater range of motion. We've got 13 seconds left. Try to be as soft as you can as well with this one. You don't want to hold any tension in the body. Try to be nice and soft, allow the spine to move in those segments. All right, so time has gone off. We're moving into standing arch. There's eight reps for this one here. Again, you've got some form cues, but I'll talk you through it as well. So head back. Moving into an arch. I was just about to talk in that arch position, but it's actually pretty hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our head back, open the chest, and as that happens, because the weight's moving backwards, we wanna move our hips forward and bring our knees forward to counterbalance the weight of our head. So let's go, eight reps. So that's two. Four. and just give a gentle encouragement of the range so you'll start somewhere each rep and try to go a little bit further each time even if it's a millimeter four five starting to get a bit lower six two more reps And last one. All right, it's a nice warm up for our bridge later on. And then we move to that next exercise. So we just swipe across. We've got our Jefferson curls, again for eight reps. We jump up, find a light weight or a weight that's appropriate. We've got six kilos, we've got 14 kilos here as well. So just choose one that is good for you. And let's go, eight reps. So dropping your head down, this is very, Similar to the arch, but basically the opposite movement. So we're still trying to articulate the spine like we did in that standing arch, but we're moving into spinal flexion instead of extension. So head down, roll through the spine, keep the legs straight, allow the weight to pull you down, and then coming back up. It's really important to make sure that you're compressing as well, so you get to hear any compress. You try to pull the chest into the quads to close that gap. I think that's four. That's five. Same as the standing arch, we want to increase the range as we go each rep, try and go a little deeper. 
Let's go two more. All the way down, big stretch. All the way back up, last one, down. Big stretch. And then back up, all right, that away. Let's move on, so we're gonna swipe across. Now we're moving into a 30 second rest period. So the rest is just to get you enough uh, energy to move on to the next exercise. This one is not too taxing. So some of the other workouts that we do have on the app are a little bit more taxing. This one is based on the spine, so it's a little bit more mobility focused. But if you're doing the upper body, the full body, the lower body, it's gonna be a little bit more intense. So this 30 second rest period is gonna be super handy. So we've got five seconds left, and then we're moving into our working sets. All right, so we're on. The bell's gone, and we're onto our bridge push-ups. Again, you can change the progressions with inside the app as well. We've got eight reps laying in our, on our back, bringing our heels in. We're gonna place our hands right next to our head. And first variation is something like this, and back down. The next variation is pushing all the way up, trying to get to the head. The next variation is coming all the way down to the upper back and then pushing all the way up into the highest bridge you can. Again, that standing arch is really helpful to warm this up. So let's do eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. All right, so then we just swipe to the next exercise. We've got our good mornings, and for this exercise, we've got it with the dowel. This is just to teach you the form. So we're gonna hold the dowel like this, making sure that we are keeping a nice straight spine. So we're coming all the way down, and then all the way back up. What I'm gonna do is show you a weighted version on the next round as well, and I'm gonna show you with a six kilo weight, where you can actually add weight to the dowel as well. So we go from here. We've already done one, so let's keep going. Two. Three, push that range. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what am I doing? Nine. <laughs> doing extra reps. All right, I was waiting for Jenny to tell me to stop. All right, we move on. So just eight reps of that one. I did an extra rep. Now we're moving on to the quadrupedal crawl. This one's got a timer, so we're gonna go for 60 seconds. So the minute timer's on, we're gonna jump down. I'm just gonna go forward and back with this one. You can move around the space as well. So we go here, it's contralateral, keeping the spine nice and neutral. And again, just engaging that core and getting the shoulders working as well. So I'm just gonna crawl up, and then I'm gonna reverse the pattern here, nice and slow and controlled. So with inside this program, you can see that we're doing a whole bunch of different exercises for the spine. Some are in a neutral position, learning how to hinge effectively at the hips, learning how to arch, how to fold, how to bend. These are all really important movements for the spine. This one's a little bit challenging. So we've got 20 seconds remaining, let's keep going. If you've got more space, you can definitely utilize more space. I just wanted to minimize the distance to stay in frame. Three, two, one. And now that leads us into a minute rest. So just take the time, have a drink of water, have a rest, and we're moving on to round number two. We've got three rounds of this, and then we're done. Nice and effective 15 minute workout. Just rest, grab a drink, shake it off. Maybe if, if you want to sit down, if it's quite taxing for you, you want to make sure that you're well rested for the next set. So if you want to walk around or just sit down, maybe close your eyes and just breathe. Try to settle the heart rate. This. We've got 24 seconds left. So we've got a bunch of these 15 minute workouts. Like I said, nice and fast and efficient, targeting all the different areas. We've got upper body, lower body, full body, spine. And we've also got a cardio one there as well, so it's a little bit more faster paced. So we've got eight seconds remaining, and we're gonna move on to that second round. Okay, get yourself ready to go. Like I said, I'm gonna show you a different variation for 
some good mornings, but let's get into our bridge push-ups first. Show you from the other side. Let's get set up. Push, one, two, three. Try to get as much extension as possible. Trying to push with the legs and open up the spine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I keep going to nine. <laughs> For some reason, I keep wanting to go to 10. That's so funny. All right, we swipe left. We're going to our good mornings. I think I normally do 10 for a lot of my exercises. That's why I'm getting a little confused. For this one, we're gonna go to the weighted good morning. So same setup, about hip width apart. I'll show you from this side as well. We come down and back up. Again, keeping that neutral spine, building that strength in the back and learning how to hinge from those hips. And it's a nice hamstring stretch as well. So let's go two. We're just gonna do eight. Three. Four, really push that range. Five, six, two more. Seven, and eight reps. Swipe across, the timer will start again. We've got three seconds, two, one, and we're on for another minute. So let's go for it. I'll go this way, maybe I should just show you a slight different direction. So we're going this way. that nice neutral spine. Try not to uh, move too much through the torso as well. You don't want to be swaying and moving. You want to keep that core nice and engaged. Keep everything nice and nice and solid. Shoulders engaged as well. Knees stay tracking just off the ground. Just like this. Slow and controlled. Get back. Counter-lateral. So we're moving opposite sides of the body. Time check, 20 seconds remaining. You can also play music over the app as well. So you can just follow along with the form cues, use the timers, use the instructions and the videos, and just play whatever type of music you want through the app as well. So that's always super helpful. Now we've got another minute rest, we're moving on to our last round. I'm really starting to feel this, I feel good though. I feel like my heart rate is increased. Even though this is just a mobility session, I feel like I've been moving around a lot and feeling really good, feeling very limber in my spine as well. So it's important when we're working on the spine that we don't go too heavy. I was showing you 14 kilos on the Jefferson curls today, but I've been doing this for about 10 years. So if you're new to this, start really light. You can even start with no weight and just move up and down through those jeffos. No weight through here as well. You can even do a slight bend in the knees for your good mornings if it's feeling really tight in the hamstrings. And then over time, you can start to straighten the legs out and increase the, the weight and the load and also the progressions. That's one really beautiful thing about the app. We've got all of those progressions so you can choose easiest all the way through to hardest. All right, we've got three seconds left and then we're on to the last round. So I'll get set up. I'm definitely not gonna do nine this time. I'm gonna do eight, here we go. Let's go, push, one, two. That's feeling heaps better now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Open that bridge right up. All right, swipe across. And we are on to our good mornings. I'm gonna hit that six kilos again. I'll show you from a slightly different angle. I like to hold a cross just like this. Right on the chest, nice and high. Let's go. One. Two. And three. Four. Five. Straight back. Six. Seven. And eight. All right, last crawl, swipe across. We're on to that last round, three second countdown, and then we're on for one minute. I'm just gonna put this up here so we can see it. Well, I can see it. All right, here we go. Last minute, crawling forward. Stay nice and steady. It doesn't have to be big, long steps either. So we're not doing this. We're keeping everything nice and tight. Little mini steps. Just trying to get those knees really just tracking off the ground. Core stabilized. Then we move backwards. 
takes a little bit more coordination, a little bit more thought to go backwards than it does forward. But the more you practice that, the easier and more familiar it's going to become. You've got 24 seconds left to get going. Like I said, if you've got options, you can sort of crawl around the space if you've got a little bit more room than this. 14 seconds left. Back, neutral spine. Almost there. All right, timer is done. So it gives you a little good work. You've completed the workout. Ooh, thanks for joining me on that one. I'll see you in the next video.